USC has defeated Nevada 66 to 14. It's time to empty the notebook. Presented by Roll 'em Up Taquitos. The Trojans moved to 2-0 on the season and made it look easy on Saturday. USC's offense continues to fire on all cylinders and has now scored 50-plus points in its first two games of the season. The last time the Trojans reached that feat was almost a decade ago in 2015. Quarterback Caleb Williams continued to do what he does best, finishing the night 18-24 for 319 yards and five touchdowns. He has recorded nine total touchdowns in just two games. Taj Washington was once again a clutch target for USC and led the team with 76 receiving yards and two touchdowns. Running back Marshawn Lloyd found his stride Saturday as he averaged almost 11 yards per carry and scored his first touchdown as a Trojan. USC ultimately recorded 668 yards on Saturday night. While the Trojans didn't see as much rotation as they did last week in their season opener, they still saw some key contributions from some new faces on Saturday. True freshman running back Quinton Joyner found the end zone for the first time as a Trojan with a 47-yard touchdown run in the fourth quarter. His carry is the longest touchdown run by a Trojan so far this season. Rookie wide receiver Deuce Robinson also found the end zone for the first time as a Trojan Saturday with a 71-yard touchdown reception. Zachariah Branch picked up where he left off with a touchdown on USC's first drive of the game. The true freshman now has three touchdowns in two games. On the other side of the ball, true freshman defensive lineman Braylon Shelby recorded two tackles for loss, including one sack, while transfer Jameel Muhammad recorded his first sack as a Trojan Saturday night. Lincoln Riley summed it up best Saturday night when speaking about USC's first defensive touchdown of the season. The head coach said, quote, football is best when big people score. Of course, Riley was referring to defensive lineman Stanley Taafu's 23-yard scoop and score. It was the first career touchdown for the redshirt senior and the first fumble recovery return for a touchdown by a Trojan since Tuli Tui Pelotu did so against Washington State in 2021. Overall, USC saw contributions from all levels of its defense Saturday, holding Nevada to just 14 points. The Trojans recorded five sacks on the night, one each by Jamil Muhammad, Solomon Bird, Braylon Shelby, Shane Lee, and Dejon Benton. Saturday brought multiple surprises for USC's inside linebacker group. Tackett Curtis and Rajon Davis got the start against Nevada due to Mason Cobb and Eric Gentry both sitting out due to injury. Head coach Lincoln Riley shared after the game that both linebackers are not expected to be out long term, but were not ready to play Saturday night. Riley also credited linebacker Shane Lee for stepping up after Tackett Curtis was ejected during the first half for targeting. The redshirt senior and captain finished as USC's leading tackler with 10 on the night. While Cobb and Gentry are not expected to be out long term, Riley did not seem as optimistic for offensive lineman Gino Quinones. The redshirt senior had to be held off the field in the first quarter of Saturday's game and was later carted off. Riley didn't have an update in his press conference but said they will quote keep their fingers crossed. Now I want to close with the PSA that we're approaching our first major milestone in USC's Pac-12 farewell tour this season. The Trojans are scheduled to face their oldest rival in Stanford next Saturday in what is set to be their last matchup for the foreseeable future. Head coach Lincoln Riley called on the Trojan family in his post-game press conference saying quote we know we've got a good one coming in here next Saturday night and having that one with a great home crowd is very important. You heard the man, Trojan fans. Make sure you show up on Saturday to witness what is just the beginning of a very unique season for USC, the Pac-12, and college football. That's going to wrap it up here at the Coliseum. Make sure you stay tuned here for coverage of USC versus Stanford all week long.